Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, humans are on track to achieve immortality in seven years, according to Futurist. A new video from the YouTube channel Adagio revisits Futurist Ray Kurzweil's ideas about how for humans, both singularity and immortality are shockingly imminent, as in potentially just seven years away. <laughs> Both concepts may take a stretch of reality to attain, but Kurzweil and his supporters are quite limber. The idea of singularity is the moment AI exceeds beyond human control and rapidly transforms society. Predicting this time is tricky to say the best. But Kurzweil says one crucial step on the way to a potential 2045 singularity is the concept of immortality, possibly reached as soon as 2030. And the rapid rise of artificial intelligence is what will make it happen. Now, if you've been paying attention to my channel, other channels, the news in general, even your browsers, you'll see that AI has woken up and is taking over pretty much everywhere. So it's happening fast. They're rolling this thing out like crazy. I believe demons are very much controlling a lot of it, so it, it is really fully on focus. Then you look at things like there's a website called Focus 2030. Google it. It's all about feminism, abortion, rights, all the things and the goals that they've got. Focus 2030, not 2028, not 2045, 2030. Then this statement, we only have another seven years to meet the goal. Dr. Sultan Ahmed Al-Yabar, president designate for COP28 at the UAE this year. Then we jump into the Bible. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3 to 5. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. And they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness, which is why we feel this intense dislike and hatred for the evil all around us that grows day by day. Because we are not of the darkness or the night. We are sons of the light and of the day. We await on our Father to collect us shortly. This day will not overtake us. We see all the signs. It's clear to us. We are not asleep like those in the generation when Christ came the first time. Daniel 9.27 Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. Confirm. But in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering, and on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. Okay, that one week is a Shemitah week, seven years. This is where the seven comes from. Ten years ago, no one was talking about seven-year treaties, seven-year plans, or seven-year goals. It didn't even make sense. Five years, yes, ten years, yes, those things made sense. Now, seven-year plans and treaties are a commonplace thing you can Google and you'll find easily. Why? Because the Bible is never wrong. And coming back to my teaching and, and video that I made on 2030 crucifixion, go watch it again if you need to. There's too much proof proving that that's the date. And my biggest proof, number one above and beyond all those proofs, which were all solid, is the fact that this is a date that the enemy hates more than any other. For he suffered his greatest defeat at the cross of Jesus Christ. He knew 30 AD was the date that destroyed him completely. And hence, he knows the promises of two days, 2,000 years. And that's why he's working towards Agenda 2030, Plan 2030, Immortality 2030. He needs to get things done before 2030 because he believes and understands the scriptures that Jesus is going to wrap it all up. In 2030. And what we know is that 2030 is the end point, minus one week, the seven years they all keep talking about. And he comes to collect his own, which means, yes, I fully believe we're going shortly. And I do believe the tribulation begins this year. It has to, shortly. 
And if those days were not shortened, no flesh would be saved. Get excited. The king is coming. The king is coming. I'm ready to go. God bless. Shalom.